Okay, good day everyone. We are back in the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Uh, last time we did quite a bit actually. We got, um, yeah, but we've got quite a lot of things still to do. So we've got, well, all of this. Um, yeah, so we need to look for ingredients for the uh, medicine that we're going to give to Mr. Bryden. Uh, we need to look, we need to somehow get the horse. I assume we're using the whole. Oh. Excuse me, Miss Bateman. I'm in something of a hurry. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. Which work is that quote from? Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's gone. What? <laughs> okay. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we used the horse. This is hair for the um, string for the bow. But uh, don't yet know how we get the string from the horse. Um, let's go into the uh, inn being... Because I was scared to go in here because I thought it might... Uh, sugar cubes. Just looking at it makes my teeth hurt. Maybe we get that to the horse. Um, yeah, I was afraid it was going to like progress the story, and I wanted to look around. But as it turns out, the story progressed anyway. Um, you want sugar Here cube? You go. Eat this. Oh, she's happy with that. She like that. Good girl. Yeah. Hopefully, that's gained some trust between us. Okay. So can I now take your? I've managed to cut off a few lengthy strands. Right, okay. Let's um, use the resin with the horse string. Horse hair. There we are. This should make sufficient bowstring now. Do we just do that? I guess so. I've done it. The bowstring seems to hold on sufficiently. My makeshift bowstring has been attached. Nice. Uh, actually, can we... The worm has oh. found a new home within the holes of the rotten apple. Okay, don't know what the point of that is, but nonetheless, we've now made a bow. Okay, now this start of this episode has been all, all fucking go, hasn't it? Jesus. Um, devil's toe. Oh, whoops. Um... Hello, little girl. Look what I have for you. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? My head is spinning. What happened? Hello? Where did she go? The girl has left her fiddle behind. The girl left her fiddle behind. I'll take it with me in case I see her again. I want to understand what just happened. Mm. Well, supposedly she is the um, daughter, isn't she, of the goblin, supposedly. Um. Oh, oh, we're still looking for flowers and stuff. Is there any around here, actually? Um, do you have any flowers about? Doesn't look like it. 
Mr. Shoulder told. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he did. Um. Not bad, dad, damn it. Let's go to church. There were some flowers here. Any of these appropriate? Hmm. It would appear not. What about the other side? No. No, okay. Are there any fl uh oh hello. I was gonna see if maybe we could steal some of these flowers. Oh there we go, look. The flowers have long since dried out. I oh. don't want them. Ah, oh, okay. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. DePlancy. If you're looking for Father Roach, he won't be back until tomorrow. Where is Father Roach? You might have noticed the good father has a green thumb. He's gone to visit his friend in the countryside to purchase some seedlings for his tower garden. His tower garden? Where is Father Roach's tower garden? Why, on top of St. Edmund's, of course. Right. He's got a lovely collection of cuttings up there. How do I, how do I get have to there? ask him to show you. It does sound rather pleasant. It's a shame he's not around. Well, he does have a spare key for the tower door somewhere. Do you know where Father Roach keeps his spare key? No, that's his business. Uh -huh. If I did know, I'd fetch it myself and take you up there. Not to worry. I do recall him saying he hid it outside somewhere. For safekeeping, like. Were it in the graveyard? Oh, I don't know. Best wait till he gets back, pet. Okay. I found out my father visited Bewley some 25 years ago. William Bateman. Perhaps you remember him? Bateman? William Bateman? I remember a William Baldwin. He were a right miserable sod. My father was only in Bewley briefly, from what I understand. I'm trying to piece together what he was doing here. You'll have to ask him. I don't recall anyone of that name. My father took part in an excavation at Hobbs Barrow. Do you recall the excavation? I concern myself only with matters related to the church. I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. What do you make of these stones? They are not Christian. I'm certain of that. I agree. Much older, I feel. Older than Christianity? Oh, the youth of today. <laughs> These box pews are most unusual. I've never seen any quite so tall. We Bewley folk like our privacy. Many of the pews are owned by individual families. Some might accuse you of hiding secrets. Now, now, pet. <laughs> I jest. At my age, it's hard to climb in and out of them. I'd rather stand. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Hmm. Is that a village near Erdlaw? No, never mind. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? I don't, pet. Not to worry. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. That's not mine to interfere with. This must belong to Mrs. De Plancy. Okay. Uh, put the fiddle in there. No, that's not it. <laughs> okay, so the key is somewhere nearby, apparently. Um, so I assume that's how we get a, a particular type of um, produce, isn't it? One of the uh, ingredients for the. Thing. Uh, sorry, I'm um, ingredients for the poultice. Poultice. That's it. Yeah. Uh, where would we? Oh, whoops. Where would we find the other one? Um. Let's go back into the inn. See what else we can find out. Hello again, Mister Shoulder. Miss Bearman. What else can you tell me about this sax knot? Try not to worry yourself too much with these old stories. Leave those to the locals, Miss Bateman. Have others spoken of goblins appearing in their dreams? A dream is a dream, that is all. 
They merely make for good stories. I know, I know. But to answer your question, no, not to my knowledge. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Shoulder. I'm sure the locals have filled you in already, lass. You cut quite the mysterious figure. Most had little to say. It's true. I do tend to keep my head down. When one gets to my age, one grows very comfortable in one's home. I like the isolation of the moors. I wouldn't change it for anything. I take it you don't get many visitors? Oh, no. Nobody bothers me. That's the perk of living so far out, huh? Just me and me hens. I used to come into Bewley more often, back before me health went to buggery. What do you think of Bewley? Whilst one could consider the villagers to be rather unenlightened, this place has its charm. The market's in town today. You can see that folk want for now, here. I know where I can find a scotch egg, that's for certain. <laughs> do treat yourself to one. You'll not taste better. Is there anything else I should know about Hobbs Barrow, Mr. Shoulder? No, lass. I'm certain we will know a lot more about it by this time tomorrow. I hope so. What do you make of Lord Panswick? His lordship is an important man in Beaulieu, as I'm sure you have gathered. His family has commanded much respect here for many generations. Do you respect him as a leader? I do. He wants the best for the village. Without his influence, the railway line would have never come through here. Does he want more visitors? Aye, I believe so. He has great ambitions for Bewley and wants to share them with the world. What do you make of Mildred Walker? Who? I believe she's also known as Mother Mildred. Oh, we used to get about when we were children. Our paths have not crossed in a long while. What do you think of Charles Bryden? He is a decent man. It must have been hard for him after that terrible business with his brother. Without a doubt. I must say I had assumed you had at least spoken to him about my visit. Sorry, lass. I had no intention of giving you the runaround. Again, I can only apologize. If you don't mind me asking, what is the nature of your ongoing illness? Oh, just the ravages of age. Getting off this bench will be a small battle in itself. Something you won't need to worry about for many a year, Miss Bateman. Growing old is a blessing and a curse. And what of your recent fever? An ordeal, it were. So much tossing and turning. But I'm right as rain now, especially after a mug of ale. Don't worry about me. What are Lord Panswick's plans for Bewley? He's rebuilding an old chapel on his estate. He seeks to bring God back to these lands. But what of St Edmunds? I think Father Roach might argue God has never left. Indeed. Let's leave such arguments to them, shall we? Thank you for your time. Hi, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Stanley, what have you got for me? You found old Leonard, I see. Mm. Yes, finally. I've had some rather unbelievable news, Stanley. Oh? Oh, okay. Remarkable. Quite the coincidence, is it not? Remarkable. Just remarkable. Do you recall my father from back then? I'm afraid not. Those were my droving days, you see. I didn't spend much time in Bewley, but an interesting turn of events nonetheless. What do you know of Mother Mildred? I'll tell you what I know about Mother Mildred. She wants locking up. <laughs> How so? She owes me a small fortune on her tab from years ago. Do remind her next time you see her, won't you? I'd rather not get involved, if you don't mind. Be careful who you trust, Miss Bateman. <laughs> do you have any fresh milk going spare? Sorry, lass. I've none at all. Never mind. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? No, I can't say it does. Hmm. Goodbye. See you soon. Who's this man? Hello there. Yes. Who are you? My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ted. Ted Cross. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Are you a local, Mr. Cross? Oh, no. I'm just passing through. I'm a musician. 
Just myself, me guitar and me horse. Are you a travelling musician? Aye. I've been playing a new song tonight. I've just finished the lyrics. What's it about? You'll have to come listen. Is that your horse stationed in the alley? Aye. Thistlecrack is her name. Mm. That's an unusual name for a horse. Aye. It were what she were called when I bought her. Glutton would be a better name. She likes her treat. But it feels wrong to change it. What do you make of Bewley? Can't say that I know much about this place. I don't usually travel this far south. I see. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have, miss. What is it? Never mind. Thank you for your time. Make sure you watch my performance later, won't you? I'll try. Okay. Uh, can we give him the violin? I don't wish to give that away. Oh, okay. I don't need to use... Yep. Anything in my room? The candle has melted. It's not much use anymore. Um... No. Okay. Uh, where do we where do we want to go now? No, not that. Go out of that. Thank you. Oh, I can't use the map from here. Okay. Guess I've got to be outside. Oh, music went a bit strange then. Good day. Oh, whoops. How did you like your apple? I'm afraid it is rather rotten, sir. Hey up. That slander, that is. Don't you be going around telling folk I'm handing out rotten apples. You are. Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Selling them at a steal. Would miss like to buy some? No, thank you. Um, uh, okay. Mutton pies! No. Uh, we're still looking for milk. Well, not looking for milk, we know where to get it. Um In memory of Peter Black. In memory of William Ager. In memory of Mabel Hurst. In memory of Benjamin Garkham. I'm thinking that perhaps in memory of Millicent Smith. Behind one of these in memory of Henry Crozier. Is the key that in memory of Romeo Hegg. Dearly missed by his beloved Julie. This one. There we go. I remember reading about it in the past I part. I can chip away at this plaster. There's a key behind here. Ha ha. to be Father Roach's spare. Right. So now I guess we can go in here. Um Capital. And then make our way up. Oh there we go. White flowers and a bunch. A small label on the pot reads flirtwort. This is just what I need. Lovely. Required flirt wart. Okay, so now go right now. I can't remember what the, where she said the other ones can be found, so we we'll need to go put to the key back. Okay. We need to go to back to her to ask her where to get it. There. I hope that stays on. Uh to do not to do damn it. Right. Good day. Yes. Elderflower. Can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. Right. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and growing clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Farewell. Right, okay. I keep clicking to do into the map. Uh, let's go to the station. 
purely because I want to go here. No, nothing here. Damn it. Oh, what about in here? No. Exit. Um, no, okay. It's worth checking. Where haven't we been yet? Up here? Shrooms. Hmm. No. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Hmm. None of these. Yeah. That would an elderflower. Then we'll give it to Mr. Bryden, which would then give us milk. Which would then give us a workforce. So I guess we're still looking for flowers. Elderflower. Don't know where to find it. I will probably cut to a point when I finally found it. Um, unless something interesting happens in the meantime, of course. The window box is well out of reach. Right. These flowers look pretty. Someone must take good care of them. Okay, but how, can I get... The window box is well out... I know it's out of reach, but can... Is there... F what I'm looking for in there? I guess not. Hmm. is full of various sprouts and onions. Nothing particularly tempting. A decent selection of cuts and sausages. Various chards and beets. This looks like elderflower to me. Ah. Oh. Good day. Fresh produce. Is that elderflower you're selling? Aye. Perfect for teas and tinctures. Any good for sore joints? Aye. Penny a bunch. I'm afraid I don't have any money. Sorry, miss. Does it look like I'm running a charity? Can we work something out? A trade, perhaps? I deal in cash only, miss. No coin, no elderflower. What'd you take me for? Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. Crap. OK. Uh, where, we, where would we get coin from? We sell something else for the blacksmith? Can't think of anything else to talk about. No. Hello. Good day. Do you have any milk for me, ma'am? Not yet, Miss Tompkins. Oh, dear. No sign of Mr. Ambrose? I'm afraid not. I can't just steal the elderflower. There must be another way of getting my hands on it. Good day. I think I have some flirtwort here. Show me. Ah, that's flirtwort, all right. Let me know when you found some elderflower. Oh, it's gone. Oh. This looks like it might be elderflower. I'll take some. Ah, cool. I, I was coming to ask this bloke if he knew where to find some, but turns out it didn't matter. I found it. Finally. Day. Yes. Farewell. Uh, I need to give it to her. Good day. I have the ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. No, no, this is not elderflower. Oh. It's cowbane. An easy mistake to make. The two look very similar. Oh. It's safe to eat. As long as you're not a cow. Very toxic to cattle. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, 
white and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Hmm, okay. All right, I'm stumped again then. Oh, where did this girl come from? That's oh, Jane. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. <laughs> well done. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Uh, do we give you this then? I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm. Oh. <laughs> you grab it? Oi, put those back. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Do I let at least keep one? You'll pay for any damaged goods. Sorry, miss. No, I didn't even keep one. And now I've lost the apple. Damn it. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Yeah, we've, we've watched you juggle before. Very imp. I can juggle even... Hmm. Was I meant to like do this? Ooh. I can't see how that. Hmm. Oi! Keep your grubby hands off me produce. Sorry. I'm not sure they would. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to use the cow vein with the herbs there when she's not looking. Uh, so I think that's actually soft locked me out of the game. So when did I last save it? Um, where where is this? Okay, I've got the flow at water, water, and okay. So I don't think this. It's too far. I don't know who I have or haven't spoken to though. Uh, let me go to the inn and just see if I've spoken to the people in here. I have nothing else to. There's nothing. I have. Okay. I have hmm. I don't like loading a previous save, but I don't think there's any other way of doing it. I can't. Oh, the little girls. Oh, because I have to give. Fresh Scotch eggs. I have to give the. Um, not elderflower, Calvane to the witch. Yuck. Oh. Right, here we go. Okay. I managed to swap them without her noticing. Done, okay. Uh, I think a way of pa perhaps I could do it is to get another f apple from him, go get another worm and then do it again. Mutton pies! That might have actually been, that might have actually worked, but I don't, I just, yeah, I, I've done it this way. <laughs> um, right now, let's get the... I have the ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. There you go. Tell Mr. Bryden to apply this poultice to the area in question. It works wonders. Thank you very much. Right, okay, let's oh, stop clicking to do. Let's go to Mr. Bryden's farm. Yes? I've got a poultice for your joints, Mr. Bryden. It was prepared by Mildred Walker. Who? You may know her as Mother Mildred. Oh, thank you, lass. That Mildred knows what she's doing. I should have thought to see it myself. She said to apply it directly to where the pain is. 
It should work very swiftly. I'll give it a try. Oh, that did the trick, lass. I feel like a lad of 20 again. <laughs> I suppose you'll be wanting me to milk old Eunice for you in return. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. A fair exchange? Stand well back, lass. Believe me, I'm not coming an inch closer. There you are, lass. Some fresh milk. Thank you very much, Mr. Bryden. There we go. Right. Oh, you could just pick it back up. Oh, for fuck's sake. I I spent a very long time. I, it doesn't matter. Morton pies! Okay, right. Well, because I don't know how long this part's going to be, because I spent a good 10 minutes after. It, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm, I'm going to call it here. Next time, we'll give the milk to Miss Tom's, Tomskin, and hopefully, she can uh, introduce us to the Lord. Uh, okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good sweet soon. Bye.